and I am going to walk you through activities in Seesaw really quickly here. So activities in Seesaw are exactly what they sound like. They are little interactive worksheets um, or lessons that your teacher has created. The great thing about activities is that it allows teachers and students to interact really um, immediately together. As soon as your student submits the activity, it sends it right to your teacher. And then your teacher is able to kind of look through and see how their work is progressing and make educational decisions um, pretty immediately. When we do worksheets in packets or we send things home, um, it's a little, it takes a little bit more time for us to get them back, to then grade them. Sometimes we have to have multiple messages. And activities in Seesaw really allows us to kind of move more quickly and know exactly how your kiddo is um, processing the learning. So when you log into your activities in Seesaw, it's going to give you a little number to tell you how many activities you have been assigned. These are waiting for responses activities. That means that you have not responded to them yet, okay? It's also going to tell you down on the bottom when they were assigned. Now, something that you're going to want to um, think about and talk to your teacher about is how they want you to complete the activities. Some teachers are going to put their lessons in... Um, in order and so the first activity you need to complete before you complete the top activity so this activity was assigned on July 28th at 1 27 p.m. and this activity was assigned at July 28th at 4 55 p.m. so if I completed this activity first this information might help me to then complete the second activity so you might want to just talk to your teacher about which order that you want to do that so when you look at the activity, you can see that it's got some instructions down here. We've got the title, it's L Lens. We know that there's 16 pages in this particular activity. We've got the first page viewed here, one out of 16. And the instructions have got little pictures on them that are kind of helping our um, kiddos that aren't quite reading yet. So parents, it's going to be helpful for you to maybe read these, these um, instructions out to your student and point out these visuals. And that way, your student will maybe get used to kind of seeing these visuals if they're not reading. And they might be able to complete some of these activities um, in increasing independ with increasing independence, okay? So this activity, it says um, complete one or two activities per day. Use the, this is a picture of a uh, move a little move tool to move your answers and use the pencil tool to write your answers and click the orange check button to save your work. When you finish all of the activities, click the green button to turn in your work. A nice feature of activities is that you do not have to complete all of the activities at once. So in this particular activity, um, I just put a bunch of them together and I wanted my students to kind of work at them on their own pace. So I have 16 phonics activities on L blends that my students are going to work on and I only want them to complete one or two activities per day depending on how much time they have. So they're going to make sure and save their work after they complete each little section and then when they finish the whole thing they'll turn it in by selecting the green button and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So when we go to um, complete our activities we're going to hit add response and that'll bring us right to the activity itself. Now I've included some additional instructions because each of the activities are going to be very different and so that's going to kind of help you to know what to do. Unfortunately, the pictures don't show up um, when I put the instructions in. So those are things that I would have to take a screenshot of and move in myself. We might not always have enough time to be able to do that depending on how many different activities we're making. So parents might need to help their students to read these instructions. Um, a cool feature about the Seesaw activities is that we've got lots of different boxes and tools that are going to allow us to submit our answers. So you can see that I have got um, an increase button here that's going to allow me to kind of minimize my picture. I've got this little button that's going to take the tools away so that I'm just looking at the screen itself. This is going to help me to kind of undo something. If I've um, accidentally made a mistake on my work, I can click undo or redo. I've got a T here and that 
is going to open up a um, text box so that I can type my answer. I can also change the size and the color by just kind of changing this actual size, just like that. I can delete it or even duplicate it. This box right here is actually going to allow me to record an answer. So if your student is having a hard time completing the work by writing their answer or typing, you could have them record their answer too. This button allows us to take photos or videos or upload photos that we've taken. This little asterisk down here is going to show us um, a few other tools that we have. We've got shapes, we can add, and we also have the ability to change the backgrounds too. Now my students really liked messing around with the backgrounds. <laughs> we can actually add a caption to this as well if you would like. Hi, Miss Krause or even a voice caption if you want. Down here, we've got the move tool that allows us to move objects. If we want um, to stop moving them or we um, don't wanna be distracted, we can lock them. See, now I can't move it. We've got the writing tool down here. It comes in gray, but you can also change the color if you'd like. You can make it red. We've got a marker, which is the same thing. We've got a highlighter, which is really fun in case we need to highlight some answers. This is called a magic pen. And it kind of makes a little circle or a little um, glow effect. And then we have an eraser that erases everything. Do, 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 do. All right. So this first activity, um, all I wanted was for families to read the passage to the kiddo and then have the kiddo read the highlighted L blend words. So that one's pretty easy. The next activity, I wanted my students to read the passage and then to use the highlighter tool to select the L blend words. So we're gonna go down and find the highlighter tool. My student really likes the color green. And so we are going to highlight the L blends. Okay, now say I was done with this activity for the day, I could hit draft and that activity is saved. It's visible just to me and the teacher, but I can also go back in and edit it. And it'll come right back. You can see all my changes were already made. Another kind of activity that your teacher might have you do is going to be do moving of objects. So use the move tool to place L blend words in the blender. This is a plug, this is a clam, and it says to use the pencil tool to write L blend words. Plug. <laughs> it's very hard for me to write. <laughs> All right. I think the next activity we have is another moving activity. We're moving L blend words and not L blend words. And then we've got a selection tool as well, or a selection worksheet as well. Use the highlighter or the pencil to select the L blend. Then use the tool, the pencil tool, to write the L blend words. I'm going to use the highlighter. This is a slide, so I will circle, slide, and then I'll switch over to the pencil and write slide. There we go. Now, if this activity was really hard or maybe um, the teacher wanted you to give a little note, you could write a word. You could write, this was very hard. Can we do more sorting? <laughs> and there we go. We can save that as a draft. And when your teacher comes in to look at that, they'll be able to see that you wrote a little note on this page. So you didn't finish that one, that's okay. All of the other activities are gonna be pretty similar. Um, you can move little letters in order to spell words. 
using that move tool. This is another sorting activity. This is another sorting and writing activity. And I think it just goes back to those same different ones. All right, so that is the different kind of tools that we can use in order to complete our activities. Here's another example of an activity that you might do. Some activities we put instructions or introduction pages on, so you can usually just go ahead and skip over those or read them out loud to your student. And this one, we are going to just write the letters that the, um, that the word or that the picture begins with. So this is a C, this is an A, and this is a T. And the word is cat. And I'm going to submit that. And you can see it says waiting for teacher approval. And so what will happen is your teacher will log into their account and they will view that, that um, activity and they might give you feedback or they might just say, yep, you did it, you're good to go. And that is just a short little overview of activities on Seesaw and how you can help your students um, work interactively on uh, the Seesaw app.